Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I've got 30 bread and butter bolos coming your way. Items that I bought low and I sold for decent margins, $35 or less. I sold these items on eBay. They were cross posted to Mercari and Poshmark and they sold faster on eBay. I do use List Perfectly to cross post my items. It just makes the process so much quicker. I'm more efficient. And if you're interested in checking out how List Perfectly works, there is a video, a how to video in the description of the video. And you can use referral coupon code Bolo Buddies, all one word, to get 30% off your first month if you want to try it. It's awesome. I love it. I've been using it over a year. Um, yeah, good stuff. All right, let's see. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. All right, let's start with the first item. You guys know me. I like to dig in and get the bolos shared. All right, the first item is this vintage Barbie doll jumpsuit. And this came either from an estate sale or a thrift haul. I had um, two uh, things that were kind of close together. So I listed the items around the same time. And I can't remember which went with which. But I sold this for $10.50 and the buyer paid shipping. I did auction it because I wasn't sure. Again, it was more of the condition. If it would have been in better condition, I could have gotten more. Um, I think this was the estate sale. But don't quote me on that. But I probably had less than... 50 cents in it. The next item is this vintage flocked hair boy. And he, I think he's a clone and I think he's rare because I could not find him. Now you can see he's got that fuzzy hair. That is flocked hair. He's made in Japan. He's not in mint condition or anything like that. I don't know. I was like, do I have something special here? So I went ahead and I auctioned him, but he only got one bid, but that's okay. I sold him for $29.99. I picked him up at a thrift store and a lot of Barbies. Um, and there were some boy dolls also, but uh, yeah, $29.99. And I want to say, I can't remember. I don't remember what I paid for all of them, but I think I had a coupon that day. So um, I probably have like a dollar in him. All right. The next item I sold is this 1993 Tyco plush puppy puppy puppies and he's cute and these are vintage they are a harder to find item um the kitty kitty kittens I think it is or kitty 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 or something like that um I sold one of those it was a big money bolo these puppies have been more of a um bread and butter to a little above bread and butter. But for a 50 cent investment, I'm really happy with it. I sold it for a best offer of $34 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this puppy surprise pup with four pups and one of them is a runt. So you can see the one puppy is a little bit smaller than the others. This is not in great condition. Um, they're stained. The mom is a bit dirty. Um, yeah, but it's still sold. People like these and they can clean them up. I don't have time to clean up plush. Um, so I sold it how I got it. And that one even has a hair on it. That's kind of embarrassing. Is that a hair? I don't know. That came on it. But it's kind of like that material what, um, that things stick to. You know what I mean? So if I would have saw that, I would have grabbed it. I don't know how I didn't see it. But anyway... Um, I sold this for $15.99. The buyer paid the shipping and I got it at a Goodwill for $2. The next item, and I'm sure you guys are going to give me a hard time about that one. <laughs> okay, this vintage board game, Shocking Autopsy. Um, it is a weird game. Uh, it's kind of like Operation, only it's for adults. And warning, this product emits an electric shock. So. Yeah, I looked it up when I was at the thrift store and comps were pretty good. So I went ahead and picked it up. I paid $2 for it and it sold for $31.99 and the buyer paid shipping. I could not get it to shock. And I will tell you when I was trying, I was a little bit scared because I'm like, what kind of shock are we talking about here? <laughs> you know, there's a warning on it. So I'm, I don't know if I was doing something wrong or not, but there are other, you can turn the shock off and it has a scream feature and that did work. So I don't know. Kind of funny. The next item is this vintage dollhouse miniature dresser. This came from an estate sale and a bulk lot of vintage dollhouse furniture that I picked up. And I sold this for $16 and the buyer paid shipping. 
The next item I sold is this Paw Patrol. Um, get off there. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Um, I got this at the bins, so I paid for it by weight. So I probably had a buck or less in it. And it's a Paw Patrol helicopter with the minifigure. And I sold this for a best offer of $14 and the buyer paid shipping. And I don't think this figure actually goes with it. I pick up these figures all the time and I just happen to have her. So I just threw her with it to make it more complete, even though I don't think it's the right one. The next item is this vintage flocked horse. It's super, super cute. And again, flocked is that like fuzzy felt like material. And this one's got some damage to it. Uh, that one came from a garage sale and I sold it for $16 and the buyer paid shipping. I love the little bridle on it. It's so cute. The next item that sold is this vintage ceramic bunny playing a piano. And again, this item sold super fast. I picked it up kind of on a whim um, with some other items that day. I don't know why I was in the glass department and I just kept buying things. I bought a hippo. I bought this. Um, and the majority of the items have sold. So maybe I need to do more of that. But I don't really like shipping these types of things. Um, I, I bought this for two bucks and it sold for $21 buyer paid shipping. And again, that one sold fast. It was around Easter though. So that probably helped. Now this one's really cool, but this was a long tail item. And with this it's vintage Halloween. So it could have gone either way. It could have went really, really high. And I think in the beginning, maybe I tried to auction this, but it's a black cat plastic Halloween mold. Um, it's got the arched back. It's really cool. So you just, it's only one. And it's just a square. It's nothing fancy. But um, I can't even remember where I got this. But I sold it for $10.39 in the buyer paid shipping. The next uh, item is this vintage carved celluloid flower brooch. It is made in Japan as seen here. And I had this in a lot of brooches that I was selling as a lot. And I decided to break down the lot. I can't remember why, but... Um, yeah, I did. And I ended up selling this item for $14 on best offer and the buyer paid shipping. This is from my, I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, bulk buy purchase, 344 pounds of jewelry. And I have a whole series on that on my channel if you want to check it out. How to train your dragon, this little light furry figure. Um, I got this at a thrift store for 75 cents and I sold it for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. These came out of a mystery box. They are the vintage Muffy Vanderbear and Hoppy Vanderbear Yankee Doodle 4th of July collection. I sold these for $32 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this PJ Masks. And you can see his nose is a little bit, um, it's got a little paint wear. And this came from a um, thrift store and I paid 20 cents for it and I sold it for $20. And again, I've got the video down here that shows how the item works. And I do have a video showing you guys how to do that. And you can check that out on my YouTube channel. The next item are these Kellogg's Lot of Four Astronaut Breakfast Game Pens. I purchased these from a dibble box from Donatella Bottolino. A dibble box is a dibble bit of this and a dibble bit of that. It's basically a reseller box. Um, I paid 110 for the whole entire box. If you want to see everything I got, I think I was going to make seven or eight hundred dollars on the box when it's all said and done. But you guys can go check out that video. It's also on my channel. The next item I sold is this vintage Easter back skit. I thought this was going to be a home run and it took forever to sell. I think it's adorable, but I also had it priced really, really high in the beginning. And it wasn't until I lowered the price that the item actually sold. And when I say hi, I had it at like 75, 80 bucks because I thought it was really special. I mean, who's ever seen a cute little uh, Easter basket like that? It's so cute. Um, I ended up selling it for $25 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold are these Crafters Koozie Lot of 11. These were from that I Got It Free Garage sale. And if you guys have not seen the I Got It Free Garage sale, this was um, right after we were quarantined and they were starting to open things up, but not really. And these people were getting ready to move and they had a garage sale and um, I just wore my mask and I went and they're like, you can have whatever you want. And I'm like, what? So I loaded up the vehicle 
And oh my goodness, go check out the I got it free garage sale video. Amazing. Amazing. I was estimating I'd make around $500 and my viewers were like, no, you're going to make closer to a thousand. And I think they were right. I've done really, really well. But this is another item from that lot. And I sold these for $11.99 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this little Barbie basket. This is a major bread and butter, but I just thought it was cute. So I listed it and it sold for $7 and the buyer paid shipping. And again, you guys, sometimes I just like to test things like this out and just be like, what kind of profit can I make on this? Because I've got pennies in it. So it's pretty good. The next item I sold is this Sylvania Families Family Car Epic, or no, Epoch, Epoch, Calico Critters, I think is how you say it. And it comes with one little cat. And I got this out of a mystery box and I sold this for a best offer of $22 and the buyer paid shipping. And um, the mystery boxes, when I say mystery box, that means they came from a thrift store. If it's a mystery box from a YouTube channel, I'll tell you the YouTube channel name. This item came from a thrift store. I paid $2 for it and it sold for a best offer of $17 and the buyer paid shipping. It is King K rule. I don't know something Nintendo smash brothers. No clue. Um, I just scanned the barcode and the um, comps look good. So I went ahead and bought it. The next item is this USS Stonewall Jackson hat. And this came from a garage sale, 50 cents, and I sold it for a best offer of $15 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Monopoly game. And I was actually talking about a Monopoly game in another video and I was all like, oh, this sold super fast. And then I realized that I had it mixed up with this Monopoly game. This Monopoly game, I got at a thrift store, I paid $6 for it and I got home and I looked at comps and I was like, Oh man, there's a lot listed. It's going to take a while to sell. And it actually sold surprisingly fast. So I'm not sure if it sold on promoted listings or what. I guess I should have looked at that before the video. But either way, it sold quick and it sold for $24 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Blaze and the Monster Machine Zeg Slam and Go plastic toy. And I show you in this video how it works. So again, that's just a little tool to help your viewers um, of your eBay listing know how the item functions. I sold this for $16 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Noah's Ark Tuppers, Tupper Toys. And I think this one came out of a mystery box if I remember correctly, but it's really, really cute. It sold for a best offer of $23 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item came out of the free box at that thrift store that there's boxes outside where um, they just put free stuff for people to take. And you guys know um, these videos are on my sourcing with Bolo Buddy. So if you want to see those head over there. Um, but I always give them extra money for anything that I take from outside that's free because it's a nonprofit thrift store. And I just want to contribute to their cause um, and I'm going to resell it. So I don't feel good about taking something and reselling it and not giving something for it. So I sold it for $9 and 99 cents and the buyer paid shipping. Now, if I go to a garage sale and they want to give me something free, that's totally different, but this is a nonprofit where they're helping people with that money. So the next item I sold is this Fisher price, little people dino triceratops set. And I sold this for $21.60, the buyer paid shipping, and this sold super fast. So I sourced this at a new place. I went to a consignment thing. It's called uh, Three Bags Full. And I have a video of me sourcing at this spot. If you go over to my sourcing with Bolo Buddies, you can check it out over there. But this is one of the items I bought and it sold super fast. And I had a feeling that it would. And I paid $2 for this and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this sticker Atlas. I got this at a thrift store. It was, I think a quarter and I sold this for $15.99 and the buyer paid shipping, but it's got the stickers inside and yeah, just a cool old vintage book. The next item I sold is this Transformers La Last Night Grimlock. It's a turbo charger and I got this in a mystery box and I sold it for $12 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this MGA Poopsie Slime Surprise Unicorn. 
And um, I found out who she was with Google image search. Um, and I guess she poops slime. Yeah, untested guys, I did not test it. Uh, I paid 20 cents for this at a thrift store and it sold for $12 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage 1972 Matchbox car. It's a red flying bug. And I sold this for $11.99 and the buyer paid shipping. And I picked that up at a garage sale, probably with a bunch of toys. Uh, that's typically what I do. I am a big bundler. If you guys are new to the channel, I like to bundle as much as I can together and get one price. Um, that's why I like mystery boxes so much, even though sometimes the mystery boxes are total duds. They're super fun for me and I can always dig bread and butter out of them and make money and make the best of the situation. So to me, it's worth it to share those videos with you guys and it's fun. So yeah, go over to my sourcing with Bolo Buddies to check out some of those mystery box unboxings that I get from the thrift store. All right, you guys, thanks for being here and thanks for watching.